Good morning, this is Elizabeth from allthingspaper.com and I'm here to show you my latest mini. Although it's not so mini, it's uh, bigger than my usual books, uh, but I love it and it really turned out well and I'm happy to share this with you today. Um, the overall size of the book is 8 inches by 12 inches and it's uh, chipboard covered paper throughout and it has one, two, three, four, six pages and I use the Curiosity, uh, the Graphic 45 Old Curiosity Shop paper line which right now is my current favorite, I just love it. Um, so let's start at the beginning. What I thought of when I made this was that uh, it would be fun to make this kind of like you're actually going to a Curiosity Shop itself. So with that in mind, let's go through the, the shop. The first place you come to when you come to the shop is the front, is the cover and uh, this is the front of the store and what I did is I built out a window that you could look into and see I don't know if you can see that but inside there are those girls the hourglass girls and this is the sign up here that would be hanging but I didn't want to hang it because I thought it would be too busy to hang it so I just put it up here um, and I glossy accented the eyes and then there's the roof with the title and the old curiosity shop sign and if you see, if I turn this on the side, this is this is wood, and then all of this is built up uh, chipboard that I painted and used. I cut it apart and used it as little pieces and actually built up the window itself. And the roofs are little pieces of chipboard that I painted with uh, burnt umber paint, acrylic paint. So that's the the front of the window there, and there's some pretty flowers here. Um, I guess these are I Am Roses flowers, and I put the little pearls in, and a little clock. This is a, also a bicycle, and I thought it would kind of like if somebody would pulled up on their bike and parked it there to go into the store. And here's this woman here, and I don't know if she's the proprietor or she's just coming to the store. Uh, that's for you to decide. And this is a flower that I made using the Tim Holtz um, tattered flowers dye, the Sizzix dye. And this is some pretty um, seam binding that I, I dyed. And then this is the door knocker to the store. I just love this. Isn't that gorgeous? I got this very recently at Michael's. It's a new line that they're carrying. Um, her last name is Lab. L-A-B-B-E, Lab. I can't remember her first name. I'll put it below when I remember it. And then I added this little charm I made. It says uh, Jolie, which is pretty in French and it's made out of polymer clay and that's a glossy accent in here with some glitter behind it and this is pretty, isn't that pretty? This came with the door knocker and then this is a little charm I made to match the blue it's the um, just some beads I had to put it together so you knock on this and then you come into the shop so let's go in, oh and there's a little stick pin down here I don't know if you can see that and this is uh, some real tiny little bling here. I don't know, right here, little tiny bling. So you open it up and you come inside. This is kind of big, so I had to pull it apart, I'll pull it far apart here. So it's hard for me to, I'm kind of jiggling behind a camera here. So this is a ledge that I built up here and it sits by the curio cabinet, which I thought would be the, probably the first thing you would see when you, when you go into the store. And uh, I cut this all out, I fussy cut it out, and I glossy accented all the bottles to make it look like glass. And I'll go through this first here. There's, um, up here on this ledge, you can see I put some items here that I thought that would, but they would go in a curiosity shop. This is an old key, and this is a tiny little bottle, and I made this little uh, label, and then I added tiny watch parts in there, if you can see them. And this is a piece of broken china that I love. And this is a little cowley um, ocean, ocean shell that I found one year at the beach. And this is a tiny little um, polymer clay book that I made. And it opens up slightly and has some pages in it. So uh, I just love this page. I think it's pretty cool. And behind the curio cabinet are some tags and this is from the from the line and it says the old curiosity shop of bizarre wonders unusual devices curious antiques vintage discoveries and finds cabinet 
So that's what this cabinet is here. I put that here. And this is just a pretty tag from the paper line itself. And this is a photo mount for a 4x6. Nice. And you could also put something back here if you wanted to. Okay, so moving on to the next part of the store. This, uh, you'll see more, you'll see in a minute more what it is. Um, but let me show you this first. This is a little, um, what do you call this? Uh, owl, it's, a, it's an envelope that's made into kind of a, a holder of, of, of um, tags. And there's this tag here, which I made um, out of stamping. And uh, it's blank on the back. And then there's this beautiful paper from the line. And you could use these to either mount photos or, or write on, either whatever you wanted to do. And then this is just uh, little pockets here and here, and this is the back. I pieced little pieces together. And this is a photo mount here. Oh, and I wanted to say, this I learned from uh, a YouTube, um, a, a Follow the Paper Trail, and this was a little quick tutorial that she had. So thank you for that tutorial, because I really, I've made this a few times, and I really enjoy it. So now you can see this is appears to be the stairs that goes upstairs. And this is a man that's, I suppose he's thinking if he wants to go upstairs or not. And this is a little thing I made in Photoshop and it says uh, curious items and oddities, arousing and exciting. And I made that because uh, I looked up the word curious and what it means in it in the dictionary. It said uh, anything that's curious or uh, arousing and exciting. And I thought that was pretty fun. I never knew that was the, the, the uh, definition for curious. So I, I made this and cut it out and made it a little tattered and added it there. And this guy, I got him from, I believe, the Stampington magazine. They have the free paper samples, the uh, Somerset Studio magazine, and I cut them out. And just a little butterfly that I popped up here. And a pretty little flower that I added the pearl. So going on, moving on. Okay, this is the part where you would find your ointments and your remedies and your your bottles and things. And that's what this says here. It says optical eye water, optical products, three in one cure all, mercurial oils, tonic remedies. And this is a little jar with some uh, looks like little nuts in it, little bolts, uh, acetate. A little tag that I made. And this is part of the the uh, paper line. And this I made a little photo mount here. These are fo photo corners, so this will pop out and you can add your own picture. And these are some nice bottles I made using the snoo stamps. And what I did is I uh, glossy accented all the bottles so that they're, they're glossy, they look like they're glass. And then, I don't know if you can see this, but I added this little centipede there. It's kind of creepy, but I thought that was kind of fun here. And there's a butterfly here. And uh, I thought that was just kind of fun. So this is the next page. And this is still part of the area where you have your bottles and tonics. And this is a pretty tag that I made. And uh, this is not from the collection. I just liked it. I thought it went well. And then this is a pullout that is also areas to put four by six photos. It's nice and big. It goes like this. And then you open it like this, and then on the back side, there's more, there's here, and here, and then I put this middle area all for journaling. So that's nice because it fits a lot of photos. And this is the next page here, and it uh, this opens up. You can put something here and right here. And then this I made using that elastic. This is elastic, so it really holds things well. And these are some beautiful old black buttons that I had. Didn't have to do a thing to them. And this is a sticker from the line. And I added an acetate um, lens, the op optometrist lens, which I just thought was kind of funky and fun. And these are real flowers that are pressed underneath here. I got them years ago. I bought them on eBay. And they're, uh, this is a buttercup and a uh, Queen Anne's Lace, and I don't know what this one is, and this one is a clover. And I put them under the plastic diamonds, or the squares, I made them into diamonds. But I thought, you know, you're in, a, you're in an old curiosity shop, you're bound to find some 
plant specimens. So that's why they're there. So moving along, this page, this is a folio that I made. I kind of base this on, I, I collect old books for my collaging and this is, uh, I have a few of these that are much bigger and they, they have pictures of uh, moths and butterflies and they're real pretty. And I also have one that does uh, ornamental um, mechanical things. So anyway, that's what I base this on. And this paper, it's, I don't know if you can see this, but it's very soft and textured. It's, it's almost like a leather and that's why I, I used it for this book. And on this side it says Old Curiosity Shop. And what you do is you pull this, you open it, and inside are pages that are just papers cut from the line. And you can uh, add photos or write or anything you want. And if you put the if you put photos, I've also added six little journal spots so you can label each photo if you'd like to do that. So that's I love this. And again, this is a photo mount, and it pops out, and there's clear photo mounts here, so you can put your own photo right here. And this is the pocket, and I made it nice and stiff, and I love these eggs. I cut these, I got these on the internet, and um, used it. And this is my favorite page of the book. Uh, this is a cabinet, and it may not look like a cabinet right now, but I will show you in a minute why it's a cabinet. And it says here, a cabinet of unique celebrated complete oddities curiosity whimsical and authentic and usual and uh, if you can watch this this is pretty cool it opens up and there's the cabinet Isn't that neat and it's dimensional you can see here the thickness here of all these and uh, what I did is I attached these with hinges here and there's a magnet here so that it stays closed when it's closed and these are um, all covered with 100 year old paper and, and then I grunged it up so that it looks old in the cabinet these are the little cabinet drawers and I kind of looked at you know the type drawers I have a couple of those up on my wall and I keep all my little doodads I was thinking of that too when I made this so it's sort of a type drawer or a medicine chest or something like that and inside here there is a uh, this is a real vintage um, what do you call that? Nib, pen nib, and a, um, a lock, and an, uh, this is a real German arm part that's over 100 years old, and a fun little gecko that's all glittery. And this is a, uh, what you call that? Bingo thing, and a, um, this is a polymer clay little part of a ruler, and this is a real starfish and a bolt. So this closes up, and this I made. Um, I colored it with the H2O twinkles so it's beautiful. It's got the shimmery colors of a uh, dragonfly. And then here this oh, this pulls out. Um, this is built into the pocket. The pocket is built inside of the cover and this comes out and it's a nice big photo prop and it says discovery on both sides. And I'm, out of, I'm almost out of time so if this gets cut off I'll, I'll finish this up on my last on the next one here. So this is, I'll go through this as quickly as I can. This is the clock that would be in the shop. And this is a little wallet that opens up. And inside are very curious things. The when pigs fly, ladies leg in a bottle. This is from another collection that I had. And this is the uh, hourglass ladies. And so that all folds up and there's the glossy accented eye. And these are glossy accented up here. And this is um, a three, pull out three tag. And this is a pretty tag from the paper. And I only put this halfway down glued. So this is the pocket. The clock is the pocket. And then this I love. This is not my idea. I got this from uh, Anna uh, Zanero. She does some beautiful work. And I saw this on her latest piece. And I just I scrap lifted it because I just thought it was hysterical. It's the one the pigs are flying and they're loose from the cage. So that's the Tim Holtz. That's the Tim Holtz cage here, and it opens up and says, when pigs fly. And I'm going to stop here because I don't want this to cut off, and I'm going to continue this on my next, on my next piece. So it'll be a part one and a part two.